Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. If you're looking for the latest Raiders rumors, you're in the right place. If you're looking for the latest nudes, well, maybe you're not in the right place. Shout out to Manscaped for hooking us up with an awesome deal. 20% off and free shipping on the best male grooming products out there. Your balls will thank you if you go ahead and use their products. It's manscaped.com slash Raiders. That code is going to be available for you all in the comments and in the description. So if anybody out there has got a less than a four Chucky head looking head, that's on you. Mark Bodain has stepped down as the Las Vegas Raiders president. This news broke yesterday. I wanted to be able to talk about it here today on the show because after 30 years of really being committed to excellence, I believe that Bodain definitely deserves a little bit of a shout out. So he started as a training camp intern back in 1991, and he played a major, major role in getting this team to Las Vegas. Now, the timing of this is kind of interesting considering the fact that training camp is about a week away, July 26. Seventh, and now the Raiders are going to sit in there looking for a new team president. Here's what Mark Davis, owner of the Las Vegas Raiders, had to say on Bedane's resignation. Today I've accepted Mark Bedane's resignation as the president of the Las Vegas Raiders. Mark has been an integral part of the Raiders family for 30 years, rising from a training camp driver to president of the entire organization. His efforts in helping to build the most magnificent stadium and sports and entertainment capital of the world will never be forgotten. I wish Mark, his wife Amy, daughter Allie, and son Bernie and Zach all the best in whatever the future holds. Once a Raider, always a Raider. And I actually really like the way that Mark kind of rounded that out. And I want every single person down in those comments right now to type once a Raider, always a Raider because it is 100% true. Yes, this organization has struggled the last 20 years, but at the end of the day, I do truly believe that. So how about this, y'all? How surprised Surprise were you when you heard the news that Mark Bedane decided to step down as the Las Vegas Raiders president? We're going to do this on a scale from 1 to 10. If you're new to the Raiders report, I'm going to ask you questions. So every single dude or woman that comes across this video right now, go down in the comments. Let me know how surprised you are on Bedane stepping down 1 to 10. The reason why it's a 10 for me is because his relationship with Mark Davis has been spectacular. He's not really that too old of a guy. He's only 51 years old, and the fact that he's just been with this organization for so long, that was surprising. But I also know how much he was pushing for this team to go to Las Vegas. But when I hear the reasons why he decided to resign... I'm like, all right, man, I'm always about putting family first. So here's what Bedane had to say on his resignation. The successful construction and operation of Allegiant Stadium has been unequivocally the most challenging part of my 30 years with the organization. Seeing it through to the end has been rewarding beyond measure. Together, the Raiders in Las Vegas accomplished what seemed impossible. Now the project is complete, it is time for me to focus on my family and look ahead to new pursuits. I am very grateful to Mark Davis for his unwavering support and friendship. I wish him and the Raider family the best. I will always feel a part of the team because everyone knows once a Raider, always a Raider. So the fact that Mark Davis and both Bedane both finished their quotes there with once a Raider, always a Raider, I thought that was actually a pretty cool thing and it just goes back to the reason why I'm a Raider fan and a lot of people out there are Raider fan because it's more about family. Yes, you can rep silver and black but it's about the shield so I like that. So I figured I would do something kind of fun here because the amount of people that were like, Mitch, who's going to be the next Raiders president? So I got a top five list coming at you. At number one of my next Raiders president candidates, I want some Lewis Riddick, man. I mean, this was actually going to be number one on my list before some of the news that came out on Riddick today. So Riddick went on Twitter and he put something out that I thought was kind of interesting and it was juicy to me. I went out, I quote tweeted it, I was talking about it. So here's what Riddick had to say today on Twitter. Team president positions don't come up very often. Dot, dot, dot. Hashtag NFL. Hashtag Raider Nation. I don't know about you, man. That is the ultimate eye emojis. Uh, Producer Jeremy, I am 100% on board with you there. So if Riddick's number one, let's go to number two here on my list. And I'm halfway joking because this is a list put together based on what I think Raider Nation would kind of want and what I would want as well. Number two is Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson would be the GOAT. Do I think it's actually going to happen? No. But you know what? It can be a lot kind of fun. What about number three coming in here? Guy Fieri. Imagine the food Allegiant Stadium would have if Guy Fieri, who is a very notable Raider fan, would become president. Man, like that would be really flipping cool to me. Number four coming in here for Raiders next president candidates, Ice Cube. I mean, this might be a freezing cold take, but Ice Cube is a pretty dope guy. Loves the Raiders. Hey, here's his opportunity here. And at number five, 
Ah, damn it, Jeremy. I told you not to put that on screen. But you know what? I'll tell you what. The only way I would stay Raiders president is if I could continue to do the Raiders report because I love what I do here at Chat Sports. But, hey, it's Lewis Riddick and then all these other guys, if I'm being honest, were just for a little bit of fun. So how about this, y'all? I want you to fill in the blank. Let's have kind of a off-the-wall style of thinking. So wrong answers only. If you guys have never played this game, it means, like, Basically, the most crazy answers are probably the best. So fill in the blank here. The next Raiders president will be, and I want it to be wrong answers only. So if you want to throw out Waldo, if you want to throw out Jeremy Bleeding, producer of the Raiders report, hey, all those are very acceptable options. So the Raiders' new president, on a serious note, he's going to be the new interim Raiders president, Dan Vitrell. This is going to be uh, one of those dudes who probably didn't expect that he was going to have this opportunity, but they announced that he's going to serve as the interim president. He's been with the organization for the last 17 years, most, most recently as an executive VP in general. Now, if you guys love the Raiders report, if you're trying to stay up to date on everything going on around the silver and black, what I need you to do right now is go ahead and click that big red button that says subscribe. We're getting so close to 80,000 subscribers, I can almost taste it. And I haven't been able to guarantee this, so I don't want to totally give away a spoiler alert. But we have an opportunity to have a show with a Raiders player coming up in the week. And the only way you're going to be able to watch it is if you're subscribed. If you don't subscribe, you won't be able to see it. So if you want to see an interview with a potential Raiders player, I want you to hit that big red button that says subscribe. All right, the next story coming up here is around Kirby Wilson, and obviously he left July 16th. This is pretty big news. I wanted to be able to cover it again because I was in Las Vegas. I didn't really have an opportunity to get in front of the screen. He was the Raiders running back coach uh, for this would have been his second year. But the reason why this is such a big loss, I mean, he's been a RB coach for seven NFL teams. That's 22 years of NFL experience, 10 teams if you also count college football. And if you also count college football, that's 35 years of running back coaching experience. Josh Jacobs tweeted literally just, damn, I know Kenyon Drake was upset. I know Jalen Rashard was upset about Kirby Wilson moving on. So what I wanted to be able to try to figure out here is who is going to be the next Raiders running back coach. Before I give you my three potential replacement candidates, it's time for you guys to let me know what you're thinking. Who will be the Raiders' next RB coach? Go down in the comments section. If you're watching this live, i got 563 people watching. If you're watching this on a later date, please go ahead. Let me know who's going to be the next Raiders RB coach. I'm a believer since we are a week away from training camp, they have to hire from within. And I don't know if that's always going to be the greatest opportunity or greatest situation, but this close to training camp, less than a week away, the way that Gruden operates, the way that coaching staffs operate in today's world, I believe that they're going to hire from within. So the best three candidates I think could be that next RB coach, first guy I'm going to bring up here is Tim Burbanich, who is the quality coordinator or quality control on offense. He's entering his third year with the Las Vegas Raiders. He's got 17 years of coaching experience, and he's worked with Gruden on the Bucks from 2006 to 2008. So Gruden obviously has some connection there and obviously believes in Tim as well. Here's probably the person who I think might have the best chance of getting it, John Morton, entering his 10th year with the Raiders. Morton has 17 years of NFL experience, and he's worked with John Gruden before, like when Gruden was with the Oakland Raiders from 1998 to 2001. It was one of the biggest reasons why Gruden was like, all right, I want this guy back on my staff. So Morton, he's number two on my list. The number three guy, and this might be an unpopular opinion, but I tried to find some of these position coaches that either, you know, aren't wide receivers, not tight end, some of these other offensive assistants. I got Tavor Johnson. So he's entering his second year with the Raiders. He's got 26 years of coaching experience. And I do find it kind of peculiar that he has a lot more experience on the defensive side of the football, especially with working with some cornerbacks. But Gruden trusts him, and he's an offensive assistant for a reason. So those are my top three RB coach replacements for Kirby Wilson. I want to make sure that you guys don't get replaced by your girlfriend. So here's a pro tip. Make sure you're taking care of your... Well, tip down there. It's manscaped.com slash Raiders. You guys can save 20% off and get free shipping on the best male grooming products. I can't even begin to tell you how many people in Las Vegas, when they recognized me, they were like, that's the Manscaped guy. You know what? If that's what I'm known by, I'm all good with that. So we got the Lawnmower 4.0. It's a brand new product. It's the best thing in the game. If you're trying to shave your downstairs, if you're trying to shave your under area, if you're just trying to look halfway decent, you got to go ahead and use promo code Raiders at manscaped.com slash Raiders. Now, 
maybe you guys want to get your hands on the perfect package. Las Vegas was hot as balls. Like, that's just me being 100% accurate with you. And it actually kind of grosses me out. The amount of people I saw in Las Vegas with their hands down their pants and they just sit there and they talk to you. I'm like, what, what, what world are we living in? And then they want to come ahead and shake your hand. That's disgusting. The only way it might be halfway decent is if you're using ball deodorant, if you're using some ball toner, and if you don't got a disgusting George W. Bush next to your Ken Stabler. I don't want none of that. So if that's what you guys want to have, make sure you're perfect, or your package is looking perfect. Manscaped.com slash Raiders. Promo code Raiders. 20% off and free shipping. All right, so we did actually have a little bit more of Raiders news to cover here on today's show. Damon Allen. The Raiders hired him, and he's going to work with the Raiders during training camp. It's kind of like a part-time position, if you will. So Allen is taking part in the Bill Wash Diversity Coaching Fellowship Program, and he is the younger brother of Marcus Allen. So this is something that you know Bill Wash, Bill Walsh decided to launch. It's kind of a cool opportunity. He is a Hall of Fame college football quarterback. The other reason why I wanted to go ahead and bring this up is because anytime – We'll have a guy like Kirby Wilson, let's say, he steps down. And then brother of Marcus Allen, probably the greatest running back all time, I'd also throw in Bo Jackson in there of the Raiders, comes on the coaching staff, at least for training camp. People are like, okay, is Damon going to go ahead and be the new RB coach? From people that I've talked to, that's not the route that's going to happen. He's just on here for training camp. So as I mentioned, I was in Las Vegas. I had a lot of opportunities to meet a lot of really cool people. If you don't already know, it's my girlfriend, Alex, my cousin, Tori. Uh, Tori's on my left. Alex is on my right. And uh, we got to see the entire stadium. But I went to Barcode Burgers. I went to Beer Park. I went to Virgil's Barbecue. We went to the Chateau. I met so many amazing Raider fans. And I tell anybody, like, if you see me out in public, you want to grab a picture, I'll put it on the Raiders Report. If you took a picture with me and you haven't sent it to me, please do. I'm going to try to put them up on the show the entire week. But a lot of the pictures that you're seeing here are from the tour of Allegiant Stadium. Yo, I'm telling you right now, you need to take that tour of Allegiant Stadium. There is not a better looking stadium in the entire world. And if you'd go ahead and do it, get the one for $88 because you are, I promise you, it's going to be worth your money. Also, had the opportunity to hang out with Raiders linebacker and captain Nick Kukowski. Also, shout out to Cody for hooking up a lot of different things. If you guys love burgers, go check out Barco Burger, best in the biz. I uh, met these people over here. Uh, they drove like four and a half hours from Bakersfield, California. An incredible experience. And maybe my favorite picture from the weekend, when I was at Barcode Burger, this little girl, I mean, she was as cute as can be. She was there with her grandfather, runs into my arms and just starts screaming Raiders. That's what it's all about. But the reason why I went ahead and took the trip was it was a Mother's Day gift for my mom. It was also a Mother's Day gift for my Aunt Wanda, who is right now battling cancer. So I love you all. I had so much fun. I can't wait to go back. We're going to make it a trip every single year. That I, that I can promise you. But uh, uh, here's a little picture of my family. We stayed at Bally's, had a great time. But if you guys uh, want to know more of what's going on in my life, if you want to see more pictures from my Allegiant Stadium tour, go ahead, give me a follow on IG at MitchellRens365. All right, the next story coming up here is around ESPN, and they kind of took a big old shit on the Raiders, having them as a bottom five team. At least they try to project for all 32 teams the next three seasons, and they looked at the overall roster, the quarterback, front office, all these different parts. They had the Raiders come in ranked at 28th, and they gave them an overall score of 68.9. For anybody that's been to school, basically the way they did it, if you were an A, very good, B was good, C was average, D was very bad, F was failing. They gave the Raiders an overall grade of 68.9, and this is based on five different categories. So what I wanted to be able to do is at least give you guys my personal opinion on some of these rankings, how I felt overall, because anytime you think of not just one year, but for you to put us as a bottom five team over the next three years, I'm sorry, like as my job here as a host is to go ahead and talk about that. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So here are the rankings essentially that the uh, that ESPN broke down. So the overall roster grade was 27th ranked in the NFL. That was minus Derek Carr. Okay, so the overall roster minus Derek Carr, 27th best in the league. They ranked Derek or DC as the 14th best quarterback in the league. Our coaching staff, 23rd. What kind of rubbed me the wrong way was the front office being ranked the 31st and then draft overall 31st. I'll give you my two cents on how much I feel about this, but before I do, what's your one word reaction to see in those rankings? Because it kind of stings a little bit, right? Because we've been in this spot for so long, and we're like, here's the rebuild, here's the, here's the rebuild. I look in the live chat, and they're like, all right, this team's finally going to be able to put it together, right? But you have to sit here and be like, okay, I kind of understand the ranking a little bit, at least from a certain perspective. So give me your one-word reaction to these rankings. If I had a one-word reaction, 
I'd say it's low, but I'm also going to say it's understandable. And the only ones that I'm going to sit there and say are understandable, because I disagree with the overall. Quarterback, I disagree with. I would have put us at 12. Coaching, I had John Gruden ranked as my 20th best coach. But the reason why it's so low is because when you really think about the draft over the last two years, the Raiders have struggled, especially in round one. That's no denying that. Plus, we've also struggled in our signings and free agency, especially free agency. And we've also struggled with some of the trades that we've done. So, like, I get the whole uh, the opinion of having them as a 31st ranked front office. But I'm also going to look at this ha glass half full. When you think about this team and all these all these media people ripping on us all the time, we were a football team that was seven and nine, eight and eight last year, and everyone watching the show right now is like, the Raiders got better this offseason. At least I personally think so. So you know what? Rip on them because I've seen this team. When you rip on them, they bounce back in the right way. So as far as I'm concerned, keep doing it. That way we can win some football games. So here are the bottom five teams according to ESPN and future power rankings. Raiders were at 28, and then you got a lot of bottom feeders down here. Bengals, Eagles, Lions, Texans. I knew the Lions and Texans were going to be the bottom two teams. I knew uh, for a fact it was Texans were going to be 32. But if you guys could, let me know down in the comments how you feel about the Raiders being ranked 28.